A trend that I see in the industry or in questions from farmers as of late has been uh, about the three inch versus four and a half inch rubber. Uh, standard is the four and a half inch rubber that comes on a John Deere case or white uh, planter. Um, that gives the planter a lot of flotation. Having four and a half inches on each tire gives you nine inches total. You've got a lot of real estate there to set your planter on. Guys are looking at though switching to three inches, and they the, one of the main reasons why guys are staying are going to three inches is, is in order to stay in between the track of the residue manager. So a residue manager moves the residue over, uh, but sometimes not far enough. So if you've got a four and a half inch gauge wheel, it'll ride up on that residue, and you can cause issues with your furrow by doing that, like a sidewall lift, creating extra air pockets in the furrow. Um, by running a three inch gauge wheel, we're actually three inches narrower total width on the row unit. So we're able to stay inside the track of those residue managers. Um, the biggest consideration, however, when you are thinking about going to a three inch gauge wheel versus a four and a half is your down pressure on your row unit. If you're running springs, you do not want to run three inch rubber. Even on a 15 inch planter where you have way more row units um, and you feel like you maybe get more flotation out of that, um, it, it's the experience that I've heard uh, from many farmers is that you want to stay away from it if you've got springs. If you have air downforce or you have hydraulic downforce, you have the ability to take some pressure um, off that row unit and not create too much compaction around the seed. So then you can go to the three inch rubber and then you're being agronomically responsible across all the questions that you need to ask yourself when you're switching to the three inch rubber.